This video is created by Jagrat Creation. It is on redemption of debentures. I wish to solve one sum here before you. I want you to observe that sum on the screen. This is the sum which I intend to solve. Sadashiv Limited issued 150,000 5% debentures on which interest is payable half yearly on 31st of March and 30th September. Company has a power to purchase the debenture in open market for cancellation thereof. The following purchases were made during the year ended on 31st of December 2016 and the cancellation were made following 31st of March. First purchase on 1st of March, second purchase on 1st of September. You are required to drop the following accounts up to the date of cancellation. So debenture account, own debenture investment account, debenture interest account. These are the accounts need to be prepared. First important point. Interest is paid on 31st of March and 30th September. Accounting year ends on 31st of December. So accounting period cycle ends on 31st of December. And interest cycle is not coinciding with accounting cycle. So we are required to write down the adjustment entries for interest accrued. That is the important point to be understood. The last date of interest payment is 30th September. Accounting year ends on 31st of December. So we are required to write accrued interest for three months at the beginning of the year. And similar adjustment entries are required to be made at the end of the accounting period. That is the first important point. Second important point, the, the investments are purchased, but they are not immediately cancelled. They are cancelled on following, cancellation was made on following 31st of March. So this investment in own debenture was kept by the company for some time and after certain period it has been cancelled, it has been cancelled. As these debentures are not immediately cancelled, the investment in own debenture, own debenture investment account will be debited and on the date of cancellation that account gets closed. That is the second important point. Now after explaining these things, let me start with the sum. This is the details of the sum. I write at the top interest date 31st of March and 30th September. That's my habit. Debenture account, debenture interest account, own debenture investment account. First of all, I would like to write down the liability one like fifty thousand to the credit side of debenture account. Now, first transaction has taken place on first of March, and the interest is paid on thirty first of March and thirtieth September. So. Before I start with transaction of 1st of March, as I told to you, I am required to write down the entries for accrued interest. So opening balance of liability 150,000. Last interest was paid on 30th September. So 3 months interest accrued, unpaid interest, we are required to find out. So 150,000, 5% into 3 by 12 accrued interest that I credit to the debenture interest account. Now last year when the interest was interest liability accord, outstanding interest was there. What was the entry? Last year the entry was debenture interest account, debit to accrued interest account credit and that entry gets transferred to the debenture interest account at the beginning of the year. So accrued interest on debenture account debit to debenture interest account credit. This is how adjustment entry is recorded. Now 1st March, 25,000 X interest price is given to you. So this is the price at which the purchases are made. But at the time of purchase, at the time of purchase of investment, you are required to pay interest till the date of purchase, starting from last date on which the interest has been paid. So last date of interest was 30th September. Purchases has occurred on 1st of March. So 5 months interest will be calculated. 5 months interest on 25,000 into 5% into 5% into 5 by 12, 521. So this is the amount paid at the time of purchase. So the journal entry for that is very important. 
ओन डिबेंचर इन्वेस्टमेंट अकाउंट डेबिट इंटरेस्ट ऑन ओन डिबेंचर अकाउंट डेबिट टू बैंक अकाउंट क्रेडिट सो हियर नॉमिनल वैल्यू इंटरेस्ट डेबिटेड कॉस्ट ऑफ परचेस डेबिटेड टू इन्वेस्टमेंट इन ओन डिबेंचर अकाउंट डेबिट बैंक अकाउंट विल अपियर इन द नरेशन दिस इज हाउ द फर्स्ट ट्रांजेक्शन इज रिकॉर्डेड After recording this first transaction, the interest date thirty first of March will turn up. So on thirty first of March, I am required to pay interest on the liability of one lakh fifty thousand. Out of that, I am holding debenture of twenty five thousand. So how much interest is payable to the outsider, and how much is the interest on own debenture that lie should work out? So total liability one lakh fifty thousand. Investment in own debenture twenty five thousand, held by outsiders one lakh twenty five thousand. Interest is to be calculated at the rate of five percent for six months. So debenture interest account debit paid to outsiders will be credited to bank account, and interest on own debenture account debit six twenty five. So debenture interest account debit to bank account, debenture interest account debit to interest on own debenture account credit. So here the six months interest is being received, and at the time of purchase, I have paid five months interest. And that five months interest was debited, and six months interest is credited. So net one month interest is found in the interest column in the interest account on the credit side. Now this is how interest payment entry is recorded. The next transaction is on first of September. That is before interest date thirtieth September. So twenty thousand is the come interest price. That is the amount paid. What is the element of interest therein? The purchases has occurred on first of September. Last interest was paid on thirty first of March. So once again, five months interest will be calculated. So twenty thousand into five percent into five by twelve, four hundred and seven. So this is the X interest price. This X interest price will be debited to investment in own debenture account debit. Interest on own debenture account debit. So bank account credit come interest price. This is how entry is recorded. Now let me complete the legal posting. Twenty thousand is the nominal value. Interest on own debenture debit. X interest price debited to investment in own debenture account. Now on thirtieth September interest is to be paid. This is the interest on own debenture forty five thousand. So interest to be paid to the outsiders will be one lakh fifty thousand minus forty five thousand. So total one lakh fifty thousand, held by company itself forty five thousand, held by outsiders one lakh five thousand. Calculate the interest at the rate of five percent for six months. Debenture interest account debit three seven five zero to bank account two six two five two. Interest on own debenture account credit. So bank account interest debenture interest account debit to bank account debenture interest account debit to interest on own debenture account credit. This is how purchase of own debenture is recorded and the interest received thereon is credited. Adjustment and is recorded debenture interest account debit to interest on own debenture account credit. Thirtieth September is done. Now. Cancellation has occurred in the next thirty first of March, so we are required to close down the accounts and as on thirty first of December. But when we close the accounts on thirty first of December, we are required to write the entry for accrued interest. So accrued interest on thirty first of December same way. Instead of six months now three months accrued interest is to be calculated. So debenture interest account debit one eight seven five to accrued interest means interest liability unpaid interest one three one two. To interest on own debenture, so debenture interest account debit to interest accrued. This interest accrued. What is the entry? Debenture interest account debit to interest accrued. The same entry will be reversed at the beginning of the next year. So let me write down at the beginning of the next year the reverse entry: interest accrued account debit to debenture interest account credit, because this is how the here the account will be closed and this accrued interest will be. Reverse entry adjustment entry will be recorded at the beginning of the year. Means amount will be credited to debenture interest account because three months accrued interest is recorded to debenture interest account credited, and when the six months interest will be paid, this will get set out. Debenture interest account debit to interest on own debenture account credit. 
Now we have to close the account. This debenture interest will be transferred to profit and loss account. 9375 minus 1875, 7500. So profit and loss account debit to debenture interest account credit. Now the year is over, so let us strike the closing balance. 1 lakh 50,000. No debentures are cancelled, so liability remains same. 1 lakh 50,000. The cancellation has occurred on 31st of March. Remember, here also I will strike the closing balance. 45,000. Balance 45,000. This interest income will be transferred to profit and loss account 2313 minus 521 and 417. This is transferred to profit and loss account 1375. And the in cost column, the 45,000 nominal value, net per total purchase price is 44,433. This is the closing balance brought down, carried forward. Now that has become opening balance in the next year. And this accrued interest is also found on the opposite side. Notice it. Balance. So this is debenture interest, accrued debenture interest. As I was not having the space, so I have written debenture interest. It is debenture accrued interest. So same way here, the adjustment entry for 1312, same way adjustment entry for 563 is required to be recorded. That's an important point to be understood. Now on 31st of March, cancellation took place. So this 45,000 debenture account debit to investment in own debenture account credit. So debenture liability is paid to the extent of 45,000. Cancellation took place. Now profit on cancellation will be transferred to capital reserve. On 31st of March, the cancellation is taken. The, we are required to calculate interest till the date of cancellation. So on 31 2017, the debenture interest for 6 months is to be recorded. So debenture interest account debit to bank account to interest on old debenture account credit. So debenture interest account debit. So 6 months interest is debited, 3 months accrued is credited. So net 3 months is debited to debenture interest account. Similar debenture interest account debit to interest on old debenture account credit. 1125. This is 3 months interest, this is 6 months interest. Notice it, very important point. Now, debenture liability how much? 1 lakh 5000. Here, Debenture interest transfer to profit and loss account. Of course, it should be transferred to 31st of December, but we are required to conclude the account of to 31st of March. So let me transfer this 2438, the net debenture interest paid to profit and loss account. So profit and loss account debit to debenture interest on debentures account. Now 44,000, 45,000 C. Now 1125 minus this, this is the income credited to profit and loss account. So Interest on own debenture account, debit to profit and loss account credit, 562. And this profit on cancellation will be transferred to capitalism, 45,000 minus 44,433. 44, so transfer to capitalism. So investment in own debenture investment account debit to capital reserve account credit, 567. This is how all accounts are closed. Now while solving the sum, I have recorded journal entries for your better understanding. Let me demonstrate all the journal entries at one place so that you can have a correct assessment of the sum. So these are the entries that I have recorded while solving the sum. I have tried to explain you this sum. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to all.